Welcome to Cabmaster Software. I just want to briefly show you how to set up the ATP correctly with in regards to design depth because this one gets messed up uh, a lot. So very quickly I'll put down a square here, close, and I've got a strategy set up already. So right click on the part, routing offset, and I'm going to choose one I've just created here. Um, 9.5 comp, 2 tool, 16 deep. What I've done here is I've got a roughing and a finishing tool I got my roughing tool going to 15 deep, the finishing tool cutting at 16 deep. Now, that's fine. What I've actually done is it's not about the depth. What I've said is I want the roughing to be one millimeter short of the finishing. That's all I'm actually saying there. It's not about 15 and 16, it's saying there's one millimeter difference. Okay, so when you go to the ATP, I've got my border layer. I'm going to come in here and I've specified this. Um, 9.5 comp, 2 tools, 16 deep, so exactly that same strategy we just looked at. I've assigned that to the border. Now, this design depth, what this should say is this is a depth the strategy was created with or strategy was designed with. So it's a design depth of the strategy, not of the parts you're cutting. So this one must equal this one. So when you name your strategy, make sure you put the depth, the final depth. So we had 15 and 16, the final depth is 16. Then this one here, this button here says use a depth that comes through from Cabmaster. So as an example, I'm going to load up some, I've got these parts here. So the standard parts from Cabmaster. I'm going to make sure everything else is turned off for now. And I'm going to process these parts. And if I zoom in on this border here, go edit toolpath, you can see very quickly the roughing one is now 15.2 and the finishing is at 16.2 so it's updated the depth automatically from Cabmaster and they're one millimeter apart so the design depth so this one this one I'm showing here the design depth needs to match the strategy depth exactly and any variation will throw things out so if it's 16.1 put that design depth at 16.1 don't worry about what you want to cut this is the uh, only talking about the strategy right now. We're not talking about how, depth, how deep you want to cut. That comes from this one here where I want to use the depth from Cabmaster. So I can use this 16mm strategy to cut 18mm board if I like, and it will automatically adjust for it. So hopefully that explains how that works. Thank you very much for your time.